Is he gone? Yep. <laughs> And during the Attitude Era, it was rare for anything to be censored on WWE television. However, there were some things that even WWE felt crossed the line. But in relation to the modern era, however, the only thing that is usually censored is swearing, which is a rare occurrence. Defending myself. I again, you selfish son of a b Whoa, whoa, hold on, you're getting out of line. Nevertheless, things can still happen in the WWE that warrants a censor. But which moments were they? Oh my! Join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 moments that were forced to be censored by WWE. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. It's super crazy. Look at that! <laughs> Number 10, Brock Lesnar swears at WrestleMania 34. Now before we begin, it's worth noting that all live programming, including WWE, airs with a couple of seconds delay embedded into their live feed. This is so that they can censor anything that may breach television guidelines, but the issue here is that WWE also airs in front of a live audience. Well, pre-pandemic of course, meaning they can only censor it on television, not in the audience itself. A great example of this is the main event of WrestleMania 34, where Brock Lesnar faced Roman Reigns in the main event for the Universal title. He's throwing three up fives at Roman Reigns. In a rather lackluster main event, the crowd heavily turned on the match as they had no desire to see it, especially as the main event of the biggest show of the year. And towards the end of the match, Lesnar hit numerous F5s on Reigns, and one particular F5 angered Lesnar. Reigns would kick out at number two, and Lesnar would shout out, F5s! Heyman and Lesnar in disbelief! Luckily, WWE managed to censor the second part of the word, meaning that we just heard, mother. Number nine, Valvinus Choppy Choppy Pee Pee. Pretty subtle hey! message. Choppy Choppy Pee uh, Pee. -pee. <laughs> That's, that's not so funny. Choppy, choppy, my... And one of the most infamous segments of the WWE Attitude Era involved Val, Venus, and Kai and Tai in a segment on Raw, as they would kidnap Val and proceed to chop his sausage off. Hello, ladies. My name is Val Venus. Now, Val was portrayed as an adult film star at the time, so without the use of his private part, he would have to find a, well, new source of income. Did they just forget that he's paid to be a wrestler as well? But anyway. For the segment, WWE would censor Val's private part so that the viewers wouldn't actually get to see anything too graphic. Because... The big Valvoski is alive and ready! Val would explain that nothing was actually chopped off thanks to some shrinkage, and he was able to continue filming movies. Number 8, Nia Jax, My Hole. I believe in myself. I can do it. I can beat Nia Jax. I can do it. One of the most featured feuds in recent times in the women's division has been the feud between Nia Jax and Lana. Now, apart from Lana going through the table every week on Raw, the most talked about moment from the feud came when Nia Jax would miss a leg drop in a match against Lana on Raw, and she responded to shout out, ah! My That's it. Now, WWE didn't actually censor the moment at the time as they may have been confused as to what Nia actually said. However, in replays and YouTube uploads of the particular segment, they did censor it. That's it. Now, although it was censored, the moment did go viral, and oddly enough, WWE began to play into it by having Nia say it in matches in the weeks that followed. WWE's PG guidelines clearly have flexibility into a wrestler complaining about their hole on live television. Number 7, Mae Young at the 2000 Royal Rumble. 
Now the 2000 Royal Rumble was notable for a lot of things. Triple H and Cactus Jack had one of the best matches of the Attitude Era, The Rock would win the Royal Rumble and Taz would finally make his WWE debut. But it was also notable for Mae Young exposing her puppies to the entire world. All my fans out here wants to see my puppies and they're oh, going me. to get to see my puppies. The incident occurred when Meg Kate crashed the swimsuit contest and decided to rip off her swimsuit to show off her full front. Thankfully those were prosthetics. Now, this would later be censored on future replays and the WWE Network version of the pay-per-view. Now, since this was the first pay-per-view to air free in the UK on Channel 4, Channel 4 executives were not happy at the incident. This forced Channel 4 to air all future WWE pay-per-views on a 50-minute delay, and they would edit out anything that they believed was too risque. Number 6. DX Strip Raw We promise there will be less <laughs> references. Oh. Hey, watch your mouth. During the Attitude Era, DX were responsible for some of the WWE's most raunchiest content that they had to offer. One particular segment that aired on the last Raw before Christmas in 97 featured DX taking off both their bathrobes and revealing their boxer shorts, but then they would take those off. They followed it by saying, Fucking stuff for so to right there. So good! Talk about your jingle or bells. So big for that matter. <laughs> The WWE were quick to censor the segment, so the audience at home didn't get to see anything too graphic. Now, this wouldn't be the last time DX were involving their birthday suit, as they would continue to expose themselves throughout the Attitude Era and, and even into the Ruthless Aggression Era. Of course, not forgetting audience members to do the same. This is Sunday Night Heat! Show oh, to our sister! <laughs> Number 5, The Cat at Armageddon 1999 The last pay-per-view of 1999 featured Ivory defending her women's title in a fatal four-way evening gown pool match against The Cat, BB, and Jacqueline. Wait a minute! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Kitty's won the match! What? This kid is the, this kid is the new WWF Women's Champion! Now, the result of the match featured The Cat winning the women's title, but it wasn't the women's title that The Cat was focused on. She stated in her post-match promo that the fans had paid her to see her in a birthday suit, and that's exactly what she was going to deliver. Wait, they are she ain't done yet! <laughs> she decided to do so, but was quickly covered up by a towel, and it was also met with a lot of booze. Number four, Brock Lesnar, Heath Slater. Axel's at Raw, Bo's at Raw, I'm the last one here, we're... Oh. In 2016, WWE ran a storyline where Heath Slater would become a free agent and would try to earn a place on either Raw or SmackDown. One of the ways Slater did this was to interrupt Brock Lesnar on Raw. Slater is the hottest free agent in sports entertainment today! Slater would enter the ring and would declare that he needs a WWE contract in order to support his kids. But Lesnar would inform Slater that... I don't give a about your kids. This received a huge ovation from the live crowd, however it was censored for the audience at home. This was actually an unscripted line and Lesnar was actually supposed to simply say that he didn't give a damn about Slater's kids, however Lesnar clearly believed that the ad-lib line would deliver more impact. Oh, and it certainly did. Number 3, Jacqueline at Capital Carnage 1998 The UK pay-per-view known as Capital Carnage in 98 was mainly known for one thing and pretty much one thing only. As following a mixed tag match between Christian and Sable facing off against Mark Mara and Jacqueline, Jacqueline proceeded to attack referee Tim White, with the future Hall of Famer somehow ending up on the referee's shoulders, and Sable then proceeded to rip her top off, exposing everything to the audience. Whoa! Big mistake, Jacqueline! Right the oh my! Oh my God! Good Lord of mercy! Oh my God! WWE managed to censor the imagery, however on the US VHS release of the pay-per-view, WWE somehow forgot to censor the uh, imagery out. Number 2, Vince McMahon drops the F-bomb on Raw. In 
February 22nd, 2016 featured the return of Shane McMahon to WWE after a seven-year hiatus. Shane would return to confront Vince and Stephanie McMahon and inform Vince that he wanted control of Monday Night Raw. Vince stated that if Shane was able to defeat The Undertaker at WrestleMania 32 in a Hell in a Cell match, he would be able to gain full control of Raw. What about it, Shane-o? Huh? Everybody's happy to see Shane-o back! But in the segment, Vince McMahon told Shane, well, he was gonna get a... Have a beating day. Beating my face. Of course, the line was censored on the live broadcast. But thanks to the fans in attendance, footage of Vince saying the uncensored line was heard... And it made quite a lot of fans question why Vince actually dropped it in. And number one, the WWF logo. Have you ever seen an F this big? World Wrestling Entertainment. Get the F out. Thanks, I, I needed that. And when the WWF was forced to change their name to WWE in 2002 thanks to the Worldwide Fund for Nature successfully winning ownership of the WWF name, they were forced to censor everything that featured the old logo. This meant that every time WWE released any old footage, the old logo would have to be censored. This of course was incredibly distracting, especially as during the Attitude Era, the classic WWF Scratch logo was absolutely everywhere. Today we are launching the first network of its kind, honoring what's most important to us here at WWE, all of you. However, in 2012, over a decade after the name change, WWE was once again allowed to show the Scratch logo as long as they didn't use it in any new footage and only used the logo in a historical sense. But there you have it folks, 10 moments that were forced to be censored by WWE. Be sure to leave your comments down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.